how easy you find this depends a little bit on your accent. Um, so for me, it's never represented a problem, but that's because I've got a Surrey accent, South Surrey accent, and there we we're quite distinct about things. Other parts of the country, it will be different. Um, I tell you what, though, Surrey accent, we've got this long whining, yes. My grandmother, who came from Hartlepool, everybody used to, um, she came down, she moved to Guildford with my grandfather, and she was, um, all of my uh, my grandfather's relatives, they'd been in that part of the world, peasants, peasants, but there for, well, since they came over with the Saxons, um, Ides don't travel very far, so that you could see that they came over on the boat and settled down and never moved again. Thought, oh, never travelling like that again. It's awful. Um, so they didn't travel. My grandmother came down to live and she spoke, um, well, depending on whether she had her posh voice on or not, um, but uh, she would say book. And of course, everybody fell about laughing because they were rude. Um, but she, oh, the sorry accent used to wind her up something awful. It's this long whining s at the end of words. See? Once you've heard it, you'll never forget it and it will annoy you too. But we do get the R. Are you going to the cinema? Yes, I am. I love it. Our dog um, pooed on their garden. Our dog. What hour will you be going to work? Um, hour as in time. They like to draw a little clock. And for interest's sake, a horologist studies time or the measurement of time to be precise. So clocks, any timing device, any, any, anyone, horologist, excuse me, horologist. Um, ology is the study of something. So, are, are you doing it? Hour, hour, as in tick tock, tick tock. See you soon, I hope you have a lovely day. And if it's evening, I hope you have a lovely night's sleep with beautiful dreams. See you tomorrow.